Hey guys, this is Dr. Herb. In case you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe for updates. Gastric carcinoma and its TNM staging. So let's look at the primary tumor. So primary tumor is represented by the T. So as usual, the TX, it stands for, it cannot be assessed, can't be assessed. Then comes the T0 is where there is no evidence. So let's look at TIS. IS means it is carcinoma in C2 and it is also the intraepithelial tumor. It is also the intraepithelial tumor and it is without the invasion of the lamina propria. So this is without the lamina propria invasion, without the LP. Then we move on to the T1. So T1 means the tumor invades the lamina propria as well as the muscularis mucosa and the submucosa. So here in T1 there is again a division that is 1A and 1B. So 1A means it invades the submucosa. No, the type 1A means it invades the lamina propria or the muscularis mucosa and type 2 means if the type B 1B it means it invades the submucosa sub mucosa now let's look at the type 2 T2 T2 means it invades the muscularis propria 2 means there is muscularis propria now let's look at the T3 so when you look at T3 it is uh, nothing but the tumor penetrates a sub serosal connective tissue. So this tumor it penetrates the sub serosal, so SS, so sub serosal connective tissue, and this is without the invasion of the visceral peritoneum. This is without the invasion, invasion of the peritoneum, without invasion of the peritoneum or the adjacent structures. Then we move on to the T4. The T4 means the tumor, it, so let's recap T3, it was a tumor which penetrates the sub connective tissue and there is no invasion of the visceral peritoneum or the adjacent structures. Now when you look at T4, it invades the serosa. So the invasion of the serosa and the serosa that is a visceral peritoneum, the visceral peritoneum or the adjacent structures or the adjacent structures. Next, when you look at the T4A, this is nothing but the tumor, it invades the serosa. So it invades the serosa, that is the visceral peritoneum. Now what is 4B? The 4B, it stands for invades the adjacent structures. Next is, we look at the regional lymph nodes. So RLN regional lymph nodes, there is NX, N0, N1, N2, N3 and 3 is again divided into A and B. So NX means they are not assessed and N0 as we know it is no regional metastasis. Next when you look at N1, it involves the metastasis of 1 to 2 regional lymph nodes. RLN is the way we are writing it as regional lymph nodes. Then 2 is when there is 3 to 6 regional lymph nodes. Then comes 3. So what is 3? 3 means metastasis in 7 or more regional lymph nodes. So it is greater than 7. So 7 or more regional lymph nodes. So 3A means it is 7 to 15 and metastasis of 16 and more. So in greater than 16, so if it is greater than 16, it means it is 3B and this is, it is the RLN, that's regional lymph node. Lastly, we move on to the distant metastasis. So the distance metastasis is written as DM. So here M0 means that there is no distance metastasis, DMET and M0, M1 means that there is the distance metastasis. 
to learn and grow daily like this please do subscribe